Hello friends, welcome back to the student blog. In this uh, series of uh, VMware Horizon training sessions, we'll be looking at uh, how to upgrade uh, uh, VMware Horizon from 8.1 to 8.4. So, a couple of our friends were asking about the uh, upgrade process, so I thought of doing this video. So, <coughs> for this rec uh, lab requirement is like uh, we need one domain controller, one connection server, uh, uh, one e uh, like ESXi box. We are using like uh, one ESXi box and uh, vCenter uh, that is 6.7 and uh, uh, I already downloaded a connection server installer 8.4 uh, from VMware site. So these are the steps we will be doing uh, following uh, while uh, upgrade process. So while doing it uh, uh, we need to before uh, we do the process uh, of upgrade. Uh, we log into Horizon console and uh, we will disable the provisioning, uh, like uh, whatever the pools we have, floating pool or uh, dedicated pool. We'll be disable the uh, provisioning as well as disable the pool. Then we'll take the backup of uh, uh, Adam database for uh, Horizon. Once it is done, uh, like uh, uh, we'll disable all uh, connection server services. Uh, uh, stop services and uh, then uh, once uh, like uh, we disable the connection server uh, 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 like uh, on the on the server uh, we'll power off the connection server we'll take this a snapshot of the server and uh, then we'll uh, power on the server and uh, we'll be installing the uh, installer so we'll go ahead and do the process uh, let's do it now so we'll go to our lab so here like uh, this is our vCenter where we are able to see we have one pool uh, with the two VMs already provisioned this is our ESXi box and uh, if uh, I uh, this is our uh, domain controller and uh, like uh, this is our uh, connection server where uh, uh, like we we'll log in Okay, we can ignore this. So this is the server uh, connection server here. If you go to desktop, we are able to see we have only one pool. So here I already logged into one of the VDI. So I will just log off the VDI. So I just logged off and uh, we'll do uh, like as we discussed. So first we will uh, disable the pool, <laughs> then we'll disable the uh, uh, provisioning. Let's refresh. So our pool is disabled now, you can see it here. Okay, so now what we'll do is, uh, we'll take the snapshot of the, for that, uh, we'll take down the server. And uh, mine says uh, so taking snapshot now. So in real time production, it will be on vCenter. So snapshot is done now. We'll turn on again. ok 
okay our uh, connection service up now so now we'll go for the step 2 so that is uh, we'll just check our document so here we just disable the uh, pools and now we need to take uh, back up the uh, Adam database so for that we need to go to the uh, program files VMware VMware view bin so we'll do that open the command prompt run as admin okay now here here so now what we'll do is uh, we'll run the command vdm export.exe vdm config.ldf so now the file is backed up so if you want to see the file you can go to the path go to C program files VMware tools uh, <coughs> VMware view server tools in and uh, this is the backup we done like you can see the stamp timestamp 450 so this is the file uh, which if uh, something goes wrong we can restore it and even we have the uh, snapshot in place uh, so no need to worry about it so if you have multiple connection servers in that case you have to take uh, a snapshot of all uh, all connection servers uh, just remember that like uh, replica servers or connection servers so you need to take a snapshot uh, turn off all in order and you need to uh, take the snapshot so now what we'll do is we'll go to uh, C temp where we copied the file so this is the installer which I downloaded from VMware site uh, that is 8.4 so we'll run it as administrator now so <coughs> update will be pretty simple but uh, if any issues occur then you need to fix it so now we are at uh, uh, we already done the uh, so, uh, like step 4 which uh, we are discussed like we have a connection multiple connection servers uh, you need to go to view configuration and select the server uh, connection server and you need to click on disable and click ok and power off take the snapshot and uh, uh, then uh, power on again and uh, you need to run uh, the installer so we, we here like we done uh, uh, a little bit uh, different way but uh, bo all uh, both are same so let's go here and see okay so now we are upgrading it so it will be pretty simple uh, while upgrade so pretty simple steps Okay, click next, accept the license. Here, uh, like, uh, we'll just ignore this one. Then click next. So, this is the path, uh, like, C program files, uh, VMware, VMware view server. So, if you, like, uh, initially when you are installing connection server, if you have selected D drive, then make sure that you select the right path. Uh, so ours is like uh, yeah we are having it at uh, C drive only so we'll be doing selecting the defaults 
so just if you see the status bar you will be able to see like uh, it will uninstall and uh, stop the services and then uh, it will try to install the new version so it will take some time so meanwhile I will stop and will uh, resume the video uh, when the status uh, status of the installation changes So it just removed the existing installation, uh, existing files, and uh, uh, now it's uh, like removing the files. No new cop files are getting copied. So now we are able to see that uh, waiting for uh, web apps to start uh, it's like uh, most of the time it will take more time uh, to start the service so don't get panic just wait for some more time so installation is done and uh, now it's trying to start the services uh, which take more time so installation is uh, successfully completed so now we'll try to open the connection server page So you are able to see, yeah, you can ignore this. So you are able to see a couple of uh, uh, new things here. Before that, we don't have these like we center. Uh, this menu was not there before. So the console is little bit different compared to the previous one. So not that much uh, major, but uh, you can see some difference. So let's check the version. So it's on 8.4. Previously, it was 8.1 okay so yeah we'll go to our desktop and uh, the desktop pools and we'll enable uh, like a uh, pool provision as well as uh, enable the pool so we'll we can do it from uh, here or even we can do it from there also so just enable the pool yes just refresh it and now we'll enable provisioning also so once this is done we'll try to log into any VDI So we are able to log in uh, to the um, to the VDI successfully. So yeah, uh, our upgrade is successful. So this is a pretty simple uh, process uh, uh, which we followed, and uh, even I will put these uh, steps in uh, the description. Uh, so pretty simple. So make sure to have some snapshots, and uh, uh, make sure to have the backup of uh, Adam database. If something goes wrong uh, it will be easy for you to restore it back so that's all for this video I I believe this is uh, informative for you guys thanks for watching and please do subscribe my channel and for any queries and uh, suggestions please reach out to me on uh, vstudentblog at gmail.com thank you bye bye